And lastly, we need to be wary. We need to be wary of people who claim to be Christ's. Who claim to be Savior's. And I, I'm going to say this, and some people may not like it, but it is important. Someone like Donald Trump, he says things, whether he means them or not, he says things that imply that he is a Savior. He says things like, I've done more for black people than any other president since maybe, maybe Abraham Lincoln. Or I've done more for Christians. Or I've done more for this or that. Uh, he is claiming, at least with his words, he is claiming things that do not belong to him. Even if he does good things, it is dangerous to give that kind of talk too much credence. Politicians, whether it's Donald Trump or Joe Biden or Justin Trudeau or Aaron O'Toole, they are not saviors. Not a one of them. Pastors are not saviors either. If you come across a pastor who claims to be a savior in some way, there's a problem. The pastor is not a savior. And you know what? Money's not a savior, and power is not a savior, and job security is not a savior, and insurance is not a savior, and goodness sakes, McDonald's is not a savior. There is only one Savior. And yet this world is full of people and things and organizations and spirits that are claiming to be able to save you. And they're all deceits. They are all lies. One of the worst things about the election in the United States this past year from my perspective was how both sides of the political spectrum were claiming that if the other person got elected, it would essentially be the apocalypse. If Joe Biden gets elected, that's the end of the United States as we know it and, and we might as well become communists. Whatever. If John, Donald Trump gets elected, the, the, the world will regard us as the worst country on the planet and we might as well throw our lives away and it'll be the end of the United States as we know it. <sighs> Whatever. It's baloney. I mean, even if, even if the United States or Canada were to fall apart because of some megalomaniac in power, whether on the left or the right or whatever, even if that were to happen, it, it's irrelevant to who our Savior is. If zombies rise up out of the earth and start to conquer the universe, it doesn't matter. Because Jesus is the Savior. And not even the zombie apocalypse can stop him. <laughs>